What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle, and today's episode is going to be a really fun one. It's going to be on oxytocin or otherwise known as the hugging hormone. Yes. So, Robin, why don't you explain oxytocin? So, oxytocin, um, like I said, hugging hormone, bonding hormone, love hormone. It's called a lot of different things. Um, it is a hormone that acts as a neurotransmitter. It's produced in the hypothalamus in the brain, released down through the um, posterior pituitary gland. Typically, when you hear oxytocin, you think having babies. I was labor and delivery nurse for 10 years, so that's immediately where my mind goes with that. You know, pitocin that you use to induce labor, oxytocin that's naturally released that stimulates milk let down with breastfeeding. And it does do that. Um, and that is the bonding hormone between mother and child. But research is showing that using oxytocin for a lot of other uses um, can be really beneficial. So things that it can help with, it can help lower blood pressure. Okay. Um, helps with stress levels, so helps to lower cortisol levels. Um, it can help with anxiety and depression. Um, it can help people um, socially, like be able to interact better socially. Okay. Uh, it can help with bonding between spouses. Um, so really encourages just that that loving feeling. <laughs> have to go to the song there, um, really just encourages that bond with people. Um, so not only a spouse, but bonding with friends too. Uh, so you can naturally release oxytocin literally through hugging, like so, a nice good hug. Now, if you were to do this, so say it's a, you know, spouses, do they both mm -hmm. need to be taking oxytocin or if it's one-sided, it still helps the bond. It can still help the bond. Um, I think women tend to be the more loving one a so lot the of the time. So it. maybe give it to the guy, help that bond <laughs> a little bit. Um, it, they, there's even studies that talk about like it helps to encourage monogamy because you are bonded to that person that you're with more. Now, is this a, it's a prescription pill? So we do it in what's called a trit, which okay. is this tiny little pill looking thing that dissolves under the tongue. So you use it sublingually. Okay. Pop it under your tongue, dissolves in maybe two minutes, minimal flavor to it. Um, with anything that's sublingually dissolved, you want to leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes, like not washing your mouth out, Interesting. drinking, brushing your teeth, eating, um, because it's it, that has coated your mouth and it's getting into the bloodstream through the, the mucous membranes. So we want to leave that without anything. So are you suggesting that people take this at night, once a day? Once a day. Anytime. Get up in the morning, you know, pop your oxytocin. Um, it is great for women as well. Um, <laughs> it can help even um, with libido, especially okay. for women. It can improve libido. Um, also, like I said, cardioprotective. So we've got the great benefit there because it's helping to reduce inflammation in the body. So, okay. So it's for males and females. Males and females. Are you using it in combination with hormones or anything else? Or are people actually coming in for oxytocin in particular? Um, both. 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 Uh, so I love, that's why I'm doing this. I love people to know about it, know that it's something that's an option. Uh, yeah. So the people that I really think of it, women with low libido, you know, that's a whole nother topic we'll have to do because there's a lot that plays into it, but it can always help. Um, high blood pressure, anxiety, depression, just low mood in general. Anybody that comes in with complaints like that, I'm definitely thinking like, hey, let's try some oxytocin. And, and this is a natural, mm -hmm. a natural alternative as, as opposed to getting on an antidepressant or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Super cool. It's always worth a try. <laughs> oxytocin, guys, the hugging hormone. Check it out. Robin Riddle, I really appreciate you. Absolutely. We'll see you guys next time on another episode of Explain This. Don't go away.